Here's what you need to focus on to build muscle. What up, what up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna to be talking about a very important topic, which is every single aspect that plays a role in building muscle, and I'm gonna rank the aspects from the most important to the least important. And a lot of times you see people focusing on the least important aspect for building muscle, and let's say you get the least important aspect for building muscle correct, but all the more important aspects aren't taken care of, you're not gonna build any muscle. And so, let's start off with number one. The most important aspect to build muscle at the top of the list is going to be steroids slash genetics. Okay, there's no way around it. We all have that one friend who has amazing genetics and they barely lift weights and they gain a bunch of muscle and we're doing everything right and we only gain a little bit of muscle. Genetics are gonna play a huge role. You can't control it. What you can control is you can take steroids, but that's gonna be very effective in building muscle. Um, I highly recommend against it, but the truth is those are the two aspects that are tied at first that are gonna play the biggest role in building muscle. Genetics, if you have good genetics, you're blessed. If you're taking steroids, you're always anabolic. Your body is playing on a different playing field than everyone else. But let's go down the rest of the list and everything else is controllable. Number two is gonna be calorie intake, total calorie intake. And so most people fail to gain weight, fail to build a considerable amount of muscle is because they're not eating enough. Your body needs to make muscle out of something and that's gonna be food. If you are if you swear that you're eating enough food, but you're not gaining muscle and everything else is on point, then you need to start tracking. That way you know for sure you're in a caloric surplus, meaning you have to eat more calories than you burn. Um, how much more is gonna depend on the person. I recommend as a super general um, number, maybe three to 500 calories more than your maintenance in order to gain weight. And so you need to eat more than you're burning to build muscle long term. Number three is gonna be appropriate training stimulus to force adaptation. So long story short, number three is gonna be your training. But more specifically, you need to stimulate your muscle in a way where it's gonna force enough adaptation, the most efficient and effective way. And so if you overwork your muscles, you are not forcing a correct adaptation. You are making your body harder to recover, therefore you're losing out on gains. Vice versa as well, if you are not training hard enough, you're not providing the correct stimulus for your body to transform. If you're not lifting enough weight, if you're going way too easy, your body doesn't have a reason to adapt to the new stress you place on it. And so you wanna work somewhere in that sweet middle and that's gonna take time to understand and to dial in. Number four is gonna be protein. Eat a lot of protein. Um, this is gonna depend on person as well. Some people respond um, very well to not that much protein. Generally speaking, if you wanna build muscle, super safe route to go is one gram per pound of body weight each day. You might not need this much, potentially you could need more, but that's a super safe number to stick to. So get your protein in. Also important to note that protein in this section, protein quality matters too. And so let's say one person is doing everything right, another person is doing everything right too, and they're both getting the same amount of protein, but one person is eating higher quality of protein, that person's gonna build more muscle. Number five is gonna be sleep. It is pretty high on the list, Yet so many people neglect it. You need to get eight, at least eight hours of deep sleep every night in order to recover properly. You can only build as much muscle as you recover from. Sleep is super important. Number six is gonna be stress, okay? You need to be able to manage stress and this is gonna apply more than just building muscle. As a human being, you need to be able to manage stress or else you're gonna suck at life, okay? No way around it when it comes to building muscle. If you have an excess amount of stress and you're dealing with a lot of things and you're worrying about a lot of things and you don't know how to manage your stress properly, you will have an excess of cortisol, 
which is a hormone that essentially when in excess eats up your muscle. You don't want that. You don't want to be stressed all the time. Stress also inhibits your recovery and plays a long list of negative roles in building muscle. So take care of your stress. Number seven is going to be body fat. Okay. The more body fat you have, the harder it is to build muscle. And so that's why over time, when you switch from a bulk to a cut, from a bulk to a cut, it becomes a little bit easier in this aspect to build muscle. Okay. Especially if you're extremely overweight, you might want to lose that fat before you go on a bulk. Having fat is just, it's tissue that doesn't do much for your body at all. You only need very little to actually survive. Having an excess amount plays a huge negative role in building muscle. And so the leaner you are, it's going to be easier to build more muscle. Number eight is going to be micronutrients. So things like vegetables and fruits. If two people are doing everything right on this list, they're getting enough protein, calories, training super correctly, but one person is eating a lot more micronutrients, that person is going to get more results. It's kind of low on the list, but I think it's extremely important just for everyday health so you don't die. Eat your micronutrients. And number nine is going to be everything else, okay? So the first eight things in order of importance are going to be most important. This is going to be the least important thing, which is number nine, which is just everything else. It's going to be like things like your fat and carb ratio, um, meal timing plays a super small role in building muscle. It still does play a role, but super small. And also in this category of number nine is going to be supplementation. Supplements can help you build more muscle, but it is going to help so little people don't even realize it, especially if everything else on this list is not taken care of. You can take the best supplements in the world and they will not help you. Okay. And so number nine is for people who have gotten one through eight correct and want to build a little bit more muscle. That's what number nine is. Number nine is basically everything else. Okay. That's all for this video. I also wanted to quickly, quickly note that hormone optimization should be somewhere on this list. The reason I didn't include it is to optimize your hormones, you just do one through eight. If you do one through eight correctly, your hormones will get more balanced, more better, more efficient over time. It plays a huge role in your mood and how well you recover and how well you build muscle. But that's all for this video. Please show someone this video who's focusing on the wrong things at the bottom of the list when they should be focusing on the things at the top of the list, except for steroids. That's all for this video. Please subscribe and I will see you later. Peace.